True Dragon Ball Z fans know about Cooler. You know, Frieza's older brother and the person that could have killed Goku before he came to Earth. Delay that order. Sire! Frieza's the one in charge of this quadrant. Let him clean up his own mess. Cooler was introduced after Frieza was killed to exact his revenge on Goku for what he did to his brother. I don't know who this Saiyan thinks he is, but no one attacks my family and lives. No one! But Cooler was never truly canonized like Broly. I'm your boy Joshua Freeman, and today I'm going to break down why Cooler is the best non-canon villain in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Cooler is the best non-canon villain in DBZ for a couple of reasons. And it starts with the fact that he gives the Frieza family more depth. The idea of Frieza's brother being an adversary was a brilliant move that led to two of the most well-known DBZ films and more depth for the family. Without Cooler, the Frieza family is just Frieza and his father and Frieza being raised as a spoiled brat. My son has a short temper and is even more cold-hearted than I am. <laughs> Who was given his father's army at an early age. And beyond that, he was also naturally strong. But with Cooler, the Frieza family gives Frieza an older brother and brings up more questions. From the family dynamic, I never did like him. And now he goes and disgraces my father and I by getting killed by a Saiyan. My brother was a pest. I would have killed him myself sooner or later. To more of Cooler's upbringing and backstory apart from Frieza's. First, is Cooler stronger than Frieza or is Frieza stronger than Cooler? It's believed to be that Cooler is stronger with his final form. Yes, time to die! Of course, before Frieza ascended himself, simply because Cooler said, He was always trying to beat me, trying to prove that he was the best and he definitely had the edge. <laughs> But then it happened. But it's never really confirmed until Frieza reaches the new form himself. I mean, in Cooler's final form, he can barely touch Super Saiyan Goku. But in Frieza's final form, he was almost on par with Super Saiyan Goku. So this brings up the question of how Cooler's second to last form stacks up against Frieza's final form. And this goes into the next reason why Cooler is the best non-canon villain in Dragon Ball Z. Because of the two movies with Cooler, the franchise does a good job hinting at another good character with depth. When Broly was introduced, he was an interesting character. And when he became canon, Toriyama came up with an even better backstory for Broly. And if Cooler becomes canon, Toriyama can answer some important questions with Cooler. From why he didn't inherit the Saiyan army from his dad, King Cole. I'm retiring effective immediately. From this moment on, Frieza will be your commander. And also why he was away from the family. Not to mention his men that he came to Earth with and their backstory. It happened, my lord. This Saiyan has been living on Earth. I mean, for all we know, they could be Ginyu Force rejects. So who are you guys anyway? We are... Cooler's Armored Squadron! And the last reason Cooler is the best non-canon villain in Dragon Ball Z is because he's the only non-canon villain to get stronger by training and seems to actually have a motivation. Bojack was simply another pirate that was trapped in a star by King Kai, and his powers was never really defined. Harutagon was just another monster created by a master. Geneva transformed, but that was due to an accident. Also, Android 13 only got stronger due to absorbing certain parts of the other androids. And Turles ate fruit to get stronger. But Cooler, on the other hand, was sick of his brother always trying to be better than him, trained and reached a new form because of it. As you know, I'm in the third transform state, but I found a fourth beyond it. What? And this backstory adds depth to the character, as he can be more than just another throwaway villain in the Dragon Ball Z franchise. Mainly because his non-canon story hints at a strenuous relationship with his brother. You've got a lot to learn, brother. And that alone is worth exploring. So in all, Cooler is the best non-canon villain in Dragon Ball Z because he gives the Frieza family more death, the fact that him becoming canon would create an even better backstory for him, and the fact that he got stronger and reached a new form through certain motivation, unlike the other non-canon Dragon Ball Z villains. So there you guys have it. That's why Cooler is the best non-canon villain in Dragon Ball Z. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, and also let me know which video you want to see next. But until then, this is Joshua Freeman. This has been Joshua vs. Television. <laughs> I'm going to see you guys in the next match.